Hey friends, thanks for watching. So I just got back from the Dollar Tree and I am gonna do the Dollar Tree makeup challenge. So I bought all this makeup, a bunch of different things, even makeup remover, makeup applicators. I also wanna begin by doing my hair because I got some of these foam rollers and I wanna curl my hair and like complete the whole look, not just makeup, but I gotta do the hair too. And I was inspired to do this video because I saw my gorgeous friend Kara do it and she did an amazing and when I say amazing an amazing job like her makeup it looked incredible so I was very inspired so I will link her video down below as well because she is the OG creator of it or at least I think so I mean I'm sure there's a lot more but um, her, her video is what I saw it that inspired me so let's begin so the first thing I need to do you guys I love these under eye pads um, so I'm gonna try and test this out it has vitamin C it says and it is a two pack and it's there's no name brand it just says iPads but you guys know I love those under iPads and honestly I need them lately because I don't know what it is about Justin but he's been snoring really loud and I've just haven't been sleeping very well I love you boo but man you need to stop snoring so loud and I wear earplugs, you guys. I legit wear earplugs to sleep and I still hear him. Like I have to like push him kind of like nicely. And like sometimes I have to wake him up and be like, honey, turn over so that he doesn't snore. All right. We gotta, well, let's hope that my eyes don't look tired after these. Um, the thing is, hold on, it's kind of thin, so, but it's okay, it's good to go. So let's get started with the hair. got the curlers in and it totally reminded me of my childhood because my mom she used to sleep with these so it does take a while for you to like feel like or see the results but we'll see we'll see like after so I went ahead and took off the eye mask very moisturizing so I actually have two different foundations um, because one one looked lighter than the other and I'm just trying to figure out my color so let's Get a little bit of each and see. So that one is pretty light. I think the one that blends better is this one, the second one. So I'll go ahead and use that one. That was by Sassy and Chic. So let me go ahead and wipe that off. And oh my gosh, you guys, this totally reminds me of my childhood. These sponges, I used to use these for foundations, love them. Um, so I'm gonna just moisturize my lips. I got this Chap Ice Lip T Treatment. It smells like roses and it's got like a little hint of color, very moisturizing. Reminds me of the Vaseline um, Intense. You know those cute tiny Vaseline containers? This reminds me of it. When I first started using foundation, of course I would use my hands and then I moved on up to wedges. Yes, I did. Okay, so coverage is minimal, but let's see what this is about. It's a makeup foundation, it says, and apply and blend with fingertips. Okay, so I'm not even gonna use the um, wedges because it exactly tells me how to use it, to use my fingertips. So let's just do what they said. So next I'm going to use the LA Colors Concealer and I got it in the shade Nude. So hopefully that'll be a nice color. Ooh, yes, yes, it is actually a nice color. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some pressed powder on. This is by Color Mates and the shade I'm using is Natural Beige. It's the closest and it's got a mirror. As far, um, so the color is the closest to um, my skin tone. They had like um, like a rosy beige color and that didn't um, really go with my skin tone. And they only had two colors. So this one or rosy beige. So I chose natural beige. 
So now I'm going to use some bronzer. This is LA Colors Bronzer in the shade Baked. And the cool thing about me getting those cosmetic sponges is I'll be able to use that to blend this bronzer because this brush, um, I won't be able to do so. So I like to do it on the chin. Kind of want to attempt to do um, the nose with this as well. So I'm going to just grab a new cosmetic sponge and I'm going to try to blend the bronzer. The bronzer has a little bit of shimmer but it's not so like not too shiny that like you notice and you don't want it all over your face. Honestly, I prefer a matte bronzer but this is not bad at all. Okay, so um, the nose I need to really work on because I actually packed on a little too much over there. You know what? I'm gonna grab that powder that I had and use the cosmetic cosmetic sponge instead of the applicator they have. And maybe, oh yeah, yeah, it's actually looking better. I should have done that to even out the skin tone even more earlier, but you gotta just learn as you go, right? So I'm gonna use LA Color as a blush and pink blush, and I got a five pack brush by Sassy and Chic at the Dollar Tree. So I think I'm gonna use that brush instead of the brush that it came with because I already tried the bronzer brush and it didn't seem to do too good of a job. So let's try this out. And I love a pink blush, so here we go. I think that this blush is a little too light for me because it's not showing up too well. It comes off a little bit white instead of um, the true color. But you know what? That is A-okay. Just because that color doesn't work out for me, it's okay. What I'll do is I will blend again with a cosmetic sponge. You guys, this cosmetic sponge is amazing. Just brings me back to my childhood, or not childhood, to when I first started wearing makeup. Not really childhood, more like, more like 18 and of, end of high school. But then I did wear like red lipstick back in the day. Okay, I think it's kind of like blended. And instead of, you know, blush, I'll just use lipstick. Cause you know, you can use lipstick as your blush. Cause that color didn't seem to look the cutest on me. So. I'll just blend some lipstick onto my cheeks. Ooh yes, looking way better. And the lipstick that I got is Color Mates Lip Crayon in Soft Plum. And since I, I got it, let me just put it on my lips now. This has like a metallic look to it and I see a lot of metallic colors coming out. So hopefully it's on trend. It's very moisturizing, really creamy. I like the color actually. It just requires a lot of put applying on cause the color payoff is not too great. But if you keep on going like I am, you'll get your color. Ooh, I kind of like this color. So next we're gonna just do the eyebrows by Color Mates and it is dark brown and medium brown. I'm gonna go for medium brown and it also has an applicator. Actually, I'm gonna go for the darkest one because I got black hair. And this reminds me of the Ardell um, brow powder that I used to use. I used to get that at like CVS. Looking okay, you guys. I think it's looking a-okay here. Yeah, let me try the other eyebrow next. I think this is actually a really good brow color. Like, I really like it. And with the right brushes, you could totally use this on a regular basis, or I, I actually probably will. I like a neutral eye, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Color Mates palette, 
And I'm gonna go for this little bronzy color. And instead of using the applicator, I just like using my fingertips because I feel like that works really well for me. It like blends in the color a little bit more and packs it on more. You know, sometimes a Dollar Tree will have um, Wet n Wild and sometimes they'll have e.l.f. So those are really great um, products to find as far as makeup. And some of you guys have mentioned you guys have found like Maybelline color tattoos there too. That is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And I have purchased a lot of Dollar Tree eyelash curlers. And I have to say, I think they're amazing. I found this mascara, LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some on. And I also wanted to apply on some falsies and I found some wet and wild falsies. So here we go as far as applying the lashes and I like that it came with a lash glue and you have to use scissors to open it up because I thought I could just squeeze out the tube but I couldn't so I went and just grabbed scissors to open that up. And the glue actually came out clear, which is really nice because it doesn't get too messy if it's clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend those lashes, my falsies and the real ones together. Okay, this one's still, still acting up. Why are you acting up, little lash? And my favorite part, but also the scariest part for me, <laughs> Liquid Eyeliner by LA Colors. Oh yeah, for sure the scariest part for me because I'm us usually used to like the pens. So wish me luck, you guys. So that's my makeup look. I didn't get to have a good highlighter. I couldn't find one, you guys. I couldn't even find like an eyeshadow that looked like a highlighter, but maybe I'll find that next time. But this is the look as far as makeup. I have to be honest, I know I didn't do a good job and um, I'm gonna keep on trying next time. But let's see how the hair turned out. turned out. I do see some curls and I know that if I left it on overnight like my mom used to do, they would be like crazy, full bouncy curls but shoo i liked it for however long i put it because it's more like beachy waves and like dollar beachy waves heck to the yes right so the makeup not the best but i tried my very best so this is my dollar tree makeup challenge but i also wanted to try something out with you guys so i bought a makeup remover so let's go and see if that actually works it's the sassy and chic eye makeup remover and I even got this cute set. It's a three-in-one cotton travel set. And it has cotton pads, cotton swabs, and cotton balls. So the first thing I'm going to remove would be the eye product. So I'm going to just put this on my eye like this. And then gently apply the cotton ball or tissue. Lightly dab on eyelids and under eye area or facial makeup and gently wipe away to remove makeup from eye area. After removing makeup, carefully rinse eye area with water. That's what it says. So I think it's doing an excellent job removing makeup. I can tell because it took the lashes off really easily. wanted to show you guys this new pair of sunglasses that I got. It kind of reminds me of the ones that I mentioned in my July favorites. They look like this. Don't they look kind of similar to my July favorite ones? So if I don't like my makeup and I want to go out, shoot, just wear my sunglasses and I'm good to go. But overall, you guys, I'm so happy with the way the hair turned out because it turned out into like beachy waves. Um, so I'm going to go wash my face. I had the best time filming this with you guys. I had so much fun discovering Dollar Tree makeup. 
Um, so, sorry, I got like cotton swabs everywhere. <laughs> so if you guys want to see more Dollar Tree videos, I do them monthly. I will link all my Dollar Tree videos down below. I have a playlist for you guys. I plan to test out more Dollar Tree products like this in the future where it's more demo. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!